Hello and welcome back. Today we're talking about transfer acceleration and I'm super excited about what's coming up. Let's have a look. Let's imagine we are somewhere here in India and we want to upload an object to an S3 bucket located here in California. Now, normally what would happen is the object would go down the public internet route, it would go something like this, like this, like this, like this, and eventually it would get there. And this is not the fastest way this can happen. There is a faster way and that's using transfer acceleration. And the way this works is that Amazon has these edge locations all around the world. And that's like an entrance point into this AWS global network. And uh, if you use the transfer acceleration, then indeed the very first part, your object will travel down the public internet. But once it gets to an edge location, it's like entering a train station. You have to walk to it and that's a bit slow. But once you're in there and you get on a train, it's very, very fast. And that's what happens here. From here, the object travels down the Amazon global network, the AWS global network, and it happens super fast and gets to the destination very quickly. So an interesting question is, what is this AWS global network, you might ask? Well, let's have a look. If we go to a website called Submarine Cable Map, you'll see a map of all of the underwater cables for the internet. And um, don't be worried if you, this is a surprise to you. I found out about this myself only a few years ago and I was shocked. So uh, all the internet between continents goes underwater. Mass these massive cables, so they look like this. Um, very thick cables, ma massive ships are required to lay them, and this is what the laying process looks like. They're deep down underwater, and they go between continents. So, of course, there's some satellite internet, but that's expensive. This is much more affordable. This is how most of the internet happens. And a lot of these cables are public cables. That's where uh, the uh, public internet works, but some of them belong to companies. So I'll give you an example. If you look for Jupiter, um, cable named Jupiter, which was finished in uh, ready for service in 2020, as you can see here, it's uh, 14,000 kilo, 14 and a half thousand kilometers long. It belongs partially to Amazon Web Services, partially to Meta, which is which used to be Facebook, and partially to SoftBank Corp and some other companies. So this is a privately or uh, uh, privately held cable by these companies and they use it in as part of well, in this case AWS uses it as part of its AWS global network and that's just one of the cables that it has access to and as you can imagine that's why the transfer is faster and now let's have a look at this in practice so if we go to uh, Google and search for S3 transfer acceleration test and if you click on this it will actually start running a test uh, to see how quickly the upload will go uh, via the public internet. For instance, from my location, I'm located in Australia, and uh, how quickly the uh, upload will go to uh, US East 1 via public internet, and then it will compare it uh, to the same upload, but through the uh, AWS global network through transfer acceleration. So we'll see a result here just now once it's finished comparing. And then it's going to go through all of the San Francisco, Oregon, Dublin. So te test all these locations and see how much better the AWS global network upload is than the uh, direct upload via the public internet. So let's uh, wait a little bit for uh, these to finish. So you can see here it's 267% faster via transfer acceleration. I'm going to pause this video until it gets to the end in the rest of these locations. All right, so it's finished. Uh, let's have a look at the results. As you can see, we've got 200, 100, 300, 400% and so on. So always a, over 100 and almost always over 200, except for this case with Sydney. And this is a good illustration that the closer you are to a location where to the region where you're uploading data, um, the smaller the difference will be because I'm um, only about a thousand kilometers away from Sydney. Uh, this it doesn't make a big difference to use transfer acceleration, whereas all the rest, uh, the difference is quite massive, as you can see. So there we go. That's all on transfer acceleration. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you next time. Until then, enjoy the cloud.